This is my FEMA travel trailer project. I picked up a FEMA travel trailer uh, for a reasonable cost. They run anywhere for a decent one from four to $6,000. Throw another $5,000 into it and have a custom trailer, so why not? After looking at $30,000 trailer, trailers, I decided that you know none of them had what I wanted, so uh, this seemed like a logical way to go. So stripping out all the walls and everything inside and the ceiling, I found that uh, I had four water leaks. Uh, all four corners had some sort of uh, water leak and damage to the the wood that uh, builds or is part of the frame. Um, up front, uh, it was probably, um, by the looks of it, coming in right where the EPDM rubber roof, which is on top of this Forest River Salem, uh, seals against the, the outer frame. Um, it dripped all the way down and did a little bit of floor damage. Not bad. I, the floor is still, still solid, so I'm not worried about that too much. The left side um, was in pretty good shape. It, it also had some water leakage, but it, again, wasn't really bad. Still, any water is, is not a good thing, so need to get rid of that. The left rear, even though the roof looks good, uh, the, you know, it, it doesn't look too bad at all. There's some uh, col discoloration you can see. But it actually ran down this piece of wood and uh, ran down the one next to it, and this one is dry rotted really bad. It's not really structurally sound, so it's going to be replaced. The rest are all okay. Over on the other side where the bathtub was, the press board actually was falling apart. I could go outside and push down on the rubber roof right here, and there's no resistance at all. There was no hole, so that was good, or no tears but water was still definitely getting in there through the seam where the rubber roof was pinched against the, the frame itself. Uh, so that wasn't good. So I used a piece of wood there and, and some blocks and uh, um, liquid nails and I've got a little bit more work to do but that's, that's all repairable and no big deal and uh, at least I've got a solid roof now. Now up on the top side I had used uh, a one gallon can of EPDM liquid rubber. Uh, some people on the internet said, hey, why don't you just go get a turnabond and do the whole roof because it's uh, magnificent stuff. Well, that just didn't seem like a good idea. So I went ahead and used the liquid rubber and uh, I was so impressed that I decided to do the whole roof. To clean the roof, I used that uh, garage broom, uh, water, of course, and Dawn liquid detergent soap and I scrubbed the entire roof down uh, the night before. This is the next morning as the sun's coming up. There's dew all over the roof and I have a lamp post right out front and it attracted the bugs. So that's what a lot of those little black dots are. Some of it is the roof and it's not in bad shape, but uh, uh, a lot of it is, is actually bugs. So I had to sweep the roof off again and, and get it clean again. Um, took a little bit longer too because the sun went behind the clouds for the uh, moisture to dry off but it was it was slowly getting there I was really amazed at how well the EPDM liquid rubber uh, went on uh, it's definitely self leveling you blob it on there uh, spread it out you know as you need it and uh, you'll get an idea of how to do it it's not hard at all and then the brush uh, brush marks all that just disappear and uh, it becomes a very high gloss, brilliant white, uh, fantastic for reflecting the sunlight and the heat compared to the original uh, chalk roof, which of course uh, has black rubber below it, so it absorbed the heat. Um, all the corners are, are filled in, and after I did this around all the edges, uh, I had several rainstorms come through, and I went out with a flashlight and just stayed in the trailer for a good half hour checking all the corners and, and everything. Absolutely no leaks. So it was totally solid you know, as far as you know leakage. There was nothing there, but I just didn't, didn't like the idea of not doing the entire roof. Um, it just made more sense. Get the reflection capability off of the EPDM liquid rubber, the, the high gloss white. And um, I went out over the edges when I did these edges. Uh, kind of like making a cap over the entire thing. So I figured when I did the rest of the trailer, or rest of this roof, that the whole thing would be like a big rubber cap 
and I shouldn't have any problems with, with any water leakage at all. Uh, at least that's pretty much what I'm hoping. I, I don't think there'll be any problems with that, um, but time will tell. And you know, with a 10 to 15 year life, I don't, I don't see having to do anything for quite a ways. I may not even have the trailer at that time. The uh, all of the um, vents and underneath the air conditioner, like I mentioned, were done. There's there's one of the vents that I did, and you can see the air conditioner. I just used two by fours and blocks to slowly lift it up high enough to get underneath, and put the liquid rubber there. Did uh, the rear vent, which is also covered by another uh, cover, but I wanted them both sealed. Out on my back patio, I had the five gallon EPDM liquid rubber and I left it outside on purpose because uh, we were having a very cool night in Dallas which is rare. Um, it actually got down to 60 degrees so the the liquid rubber cooled down good. I knew when I'd add the catalyst that uh, it's not gonna harden up on me real quick or anything like that. Um, I already had my own squeegee, I already had my own mixer and then for a roller they say use a, a short nap roller but I just ended up using a sponge one and it worked just fine. Um, you do have to be careful. The liquid rubber is very heavy when you dip the roller into the liquid rubber. And if you turn it sideways, the, the roller can actually come right off the unit. So um, make sure you're careful with that. But I just stuck it in there, got a big blob of liquid rubber, put it on the roof, and just started pushing it back and forth. It starts spreading itself out really nicely when it got to the thickness when I, where I thought it should be. Um, I went back, got more liquid rubber and started doing another area and just overlapped them and worked like a champ. Uh, it was very easy to do. Um, don't try and force the liquid rubber around. Just roll it and keep rolling and it'll, it'll move on its own. Um, very easy to apply. Don't fight it, I guess is, is what you could say. Now once it was done, it was just like as you can see, it's gorgeous, it's fantastic. Uh, the entire roof's done. It bubbled up a little bit, just like the instructions said, and those bubbles have now disappeared. It's nice and flat. i got to get that stuff off the, uh, <laughs> the AC when I can. And uh, I'll probably end up painting the very bottom of the AC where I got the liquid rubber. But no more leaks. And uh, inexpensive. Great stuff. Love it.